Hi, this is Gloria. Welcome back to my channel. Today we do a figure drawing practice using a wooden doll as a tool. This time I'm moving is not accelerated, it's the actual speed, so the pace is slow. If you're a beginner, welcome to practice together. But if you're an experienced painter, you'd probably think that the speed is too slow. If you're ready, let's get started. Usually when we are doing figure drawing sketches, we use a pencil to measure the model's body proportions. Usually we use the head as the benchmark and estimate size of different parts of the body as compared to the head. I used an iPad and the Apple Pencil in this exercise, and just now I also used the pen to measure his head to body ratio which is about 1 to 6 and I have roughly divided the canvas into 6 parts so that later on you won't have not enough space when drawing in the form of digital drawing like what I'm doing this time it's easy to adjust the size of the drawing but it, uh, now if you are doing a traditional sketch using paper and pencils to draw it's not that easy for you to change the size. So I marked the length of the head and then used the oval shape to represent the head. And then next, we can imagine the various parts of the body as boxes of different shapes. Like here, we can use our trapezoids to represent the torsos. And for the arms and the legs, we can try to imagine them as a length of different cylinders. So when drawing, we uh, when you do it when we are doing this kind of practice, we can try to uh, not to be too strict to ourselves. Try to simplify different parts into simple shapes. And for the joint parts, uh, we might want to express them, uh, express their positions in simple shapes like uh, small circles. So you see on the shoulder, I used two circles to represent them. And for the neck and the waist, we can also mark these parts with, uh, using simple oval shapes. While we draw, uh, we pay attention to the body proportions of the wooden doll. You can see here that uh, the shoulders are relatively wide. And in fact, for the proportion of girls, the width of the shoulders as compared to the width of the hip is uh, not so big. Uh, yeah, it's right. Uh, it's a female doll. I bought a female doll, but uh, you can see the shape is not a feminine. And so after we drew the main torso, we proceeded to the legs part. We used simple circles to mark the joints, like the knees and the ankles. And after the marks, after the joints are marked, we used curves to join the to join um, the length of the joints. As you can see, there is an obvious hollow part on each side of the shoulder of the doll, which is not that natural. Uh, I hope to make the figure drawing more natural, so I connected the shoulder lines smoothly. And we draw the arms in the same way as the legs. I first used circles to represent the elbows and the wrists and then connected each part with curves for the palms we can express them in a simpler way the fingers can be omitted because this time is a basic figure drawing exercise basically it didn't take a long time. The body shape of this model has been roughly drawn. 
I just needed to modify the lines a little bit later to make them more smoother and then we can say the exercise is finished. And here we proceeded to the, the foot, the feet. I also omitted the toes. This time we can omit a lot of details. We only focus on the main structure of the body. In this exercise, I used HB pencil for drawing lines. Uh, this brush is built in in the Procreate app. Then in a while later, I will do also I will also do a basic exercise of uh, light and shadow. Generally speaking, when we learn to sketch on paper, it's usually uh, we do it on a white or light colored paper. And then we use a dark color pencil to draw the shadows. But this time, because we used a dark background, which is a dark gray, and used a white pencil to draw lines, we will do a reverse exercise this time. We just need to focus on doing the highlights on the dark background. And then the sketch would give us a sense of three dimension three dimensionality. In real traditional sketching or painting, we often have backgrounds of different colors. Like in traditional oil paintings, we often use background of neutral colors, like the linen cloth, which is light brown. And then we deepen the dark shadows and do the highlighting in the, on the bright, bright places. In this way, the objects will become uh, looking more real. In future exercises, we can also use light background or neutral color background to do different practice. And we will try them one by one later. And as we observe here, um, we can look at the wooden model in the background. The light comes mainly from the left hand side. Then following the body shape, the shadows are mainly on the right hand side. And of course, depending on the curvature of different parts or the reflection from the environment, the degree of light and dark will vary. Then we will do a simple highlighting exercise, by the way. I just changed to a 6B pencil brush. I think it is easy to use for sketching shadows or highlights. Of course, you can also try different brushes according to your habits. In this series of sketching exercise, I will mostly use the pencil brushes and I hope I can practice different drawing or painting styles with you later. For example, when doing oil painting style, I often use multiple kinds of brushes in the same piece. Basically, I think the built-in brushes in Procreate are very good already. I haven't downloaded new ones or created a new brush by myself yet because I think the building ones are enough for me at this moment. And as long as you can make good use of, of the existing brushes, you are able to create lots of effects and variations already. Comparing the human body I drew, with the wooden model, there is difference in the proportions. The most obvious uh, is the width of the shoulders. 
I have narrowed the shoulders a lot. As for the hip, I make it slightly wider because I hope to draw it more like a female body. And I have strengthened the curve of the hand, of the arms and the legs. But basically, the length ratio is similar to that of the model. And for the head, I made it rounder. The carving of the wooden model itself is relatively simple. It only has the center line on the face. I will draw the shadow according to the midline on his head, on the head part. But because it is mainly a sketching exercise of the figure, uh, I will omit the details of the of the face. We don't need to draw the details like uh, eyes, nose, fingers, toes, etc. I don't know if you are practicing along. If you have any ideas or any feedback, you can leave your comments below. We can communicate with each other. I might do a few more videos in of these types in different poses, such as sitting pose or or running. You can also try different different angles. This time is from the front. Maybe we can also try on the back or from the side, or from above or below to do practice of drawing from different directions. If you have any suggestions for me, you are welcome to tell me. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel too. Actually, up to now, I think this stage of practice is completed, about to complete already. And we just need to give it a little touch up and more enhancement in the brightest parts. If there are some lines that are, that we feel that they are not so clean or not so neat, we can do more final adjustments if there is a sufficient of time. If you have participated in live human sketching activities, the model changes poses in the short period of time. You will find that sometimes we are not able to draw to the level of accuracy and details that we want. And then you'll realize there is a need for us to improve the drawing speed. Actually, after lots of practice, even in a, lim in a limited time, we will be able to draw the model in greater details, in different poses, more accurately, and with more precise brush strokes. This exercise is about to come to an end. Thank you for watching. Welcome to leave a message below to tell me what you think. Do give me a like and subscribe. Let's review the time-lapse video of this drawing practice. Hope you like it. Thank you. Goodbye.